Urban Yoga is a project from Ljubljana, Slovenia, and architect An Anja designs buildings for it. But before she designs the buildings, she does yoga at all of the places. Yes, Anja is going to explain us all about this project. What is the aim of the Urban Yoga? Well, as an architect, I'm not as much into building structures as I'm into building the bridge between the architects and all the rest who use our structures on a daily basis. So um, I'm crowdfunding at the moment on free Kickstarter to publish the Urban Yoga book where I explain everything. Uh, also the aim of the Urban Yoga, which is uh, to build architecture that is not only visually stunning and functional, but also nurtures our body and senses, helping urban citizens to live a less stressful life. But doesn't every designer keep the human in mind while designing a building? Yes, it does. I believe that every designer creates with human in mind, but the question is to what extent. The general approach to designing architecture that we use in practice is based mostly on geometry and function. Therefore, we need complementary methods that balance this general design process and focuses on subconscious sensory experience. Uh, while we're moving through space, we subconsciously mimic space and measure uh, the spatial configuration. So the Urban Yoga photo series, uh, where I'm kind of spreading my body and intertwine within the urban structures and surrender to them with my whole body, senses and feelings is a representation of that. And why is it so it's important, especially in Jubiliano Soflenia, to have urban yoga? Um, I believe it's important to, to talk about architecture that is not only visually studying and functional, but also nourishes our senses. This is utmost important to talk about in every contemporary city, because what we smell, touch, taste and hear without even realizing affects most whether we feel good or bad in an urban environment. Thank you, Anya. For more information on urban yoga, go to interconnection.com.